You may have noticed that decorated life-size horses have been popping up across Kent and Sussex over the past few weeks. They're there for a reason, to raise money for the hospice in the wheel. Yes, they've uh, each been created by artists, school children and community groups. You can see them in a number of towns, including Tunbridge, Sevenoaks and Uckfield. Our reporter Chrissy Rudy isn't far from there in the village of Isfield. And Chrissy, I think I can see one of the horses just behind you there. You can see just about say so. uh, yeah here's another one absolutely stunning this one is called pebbles now the hospice uh, say it really is a play on words a herd of horses have you heard about our hospice it's a bold campaign to try and engage the public to raise vital funds and of course the best thing of all is that these horses you just can't miss them they're big bold and beautiful horses as you've never seen them before individually decorated with one thing in mind to raise money for hospice in the wheel every penny on this horse was donated i thought what is a message i'm trying to put across a really strong message which means it's going to not only be a beautiful piece of art because of the coloring because copper is a fantastic color with when especially when the light hits it every penny counts very important message and i think it's so important for the hospice and the fact that it is sculptural in the sense it's, it's metal it looks incredible 24 of the life-size fiberglass horses are dotted around Kent and East Sussex. Designers range from professional artists to school children, each depicting a different story. It's very exciting to see it in, in such a, a clean and tidy environment after being in the dusty workshop for three weeks. Yeah, it's really nice to see it and to see people walking past and looking at it and taking photos and... Yeah, it's just been creating a bit of a buzz on social media as well, which is really, really exciting. Yeah. It's not the first time animals have been used to raise money for charity. Brighton's had its snow dogs, while London was overrun with cows and elephants. Hospice in the Wheel strive to care for people with long-term illnesses. The art installation hopes to raise £100,000. It just happened. There's a eureka moment where we went, home of the hospice, horses. Horses are synonymous here in Kent. Why not? I know. If they're big, they're proud, they're bold. I like to think that's the things that we'd like to do at the hospice. A wash with colour, they didn't go unnoticed. It's nice and shiny. It's nice and shiny, she said. Yeah, it caught my attention. The colours are beautiful. And instantly I wanted to stop and ask what it's all about. It's really good. And if it's raising money for charity, that's a good thing, isn't it? This is art with a cause where every penny counts. Now, hospice in the Weald look after terminally ill people, but they also offer a lot more support for families, counselling, care in the home. And the plan is that all 24 fiberglass horses will be auctioned in October. 90p in every pound goes to pay directly for care. So the hope is they can raise as much money as possible. Chrissy, thank you very much.